Yeah, this rain's really starting to get annoying. How you doing, Floofy? You okay with rain? Oh, hey, look. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, that's all of them. For, for this one, at least. <sighs> Should tell Sonya as soon as possible, though. It'd be better just finish searching for the other two, for evidence of the other two first while we're out. Let's, uh, let, 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 let's see... Let's, let's see how hard that, that is, right? Is that, um... Yeah, here we go. And that's the last bit of evidence I needed for that one, which means we need to get to... that icy area... to look for evidence of Kobalion, which I think is the one I have the least amount of... research into yet. And there's a Centiscorch just chilling out. Here it is. Here's the cave I was looking for. Right? This is the right one, right? Yeah, yeah, this seems right. Alright, better get searching then. Hey, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, there's the last one I needed. Fantastic. That took frickin' forever. Okay, let's, um, let's get the heck out of here before a frickin' Hydreigon attacks me. You know, I like that they put Zubats in this cave because Pokemon caves always have Zubats in them, right? But um, to really simulate what it felt like in past Pokemon World caves, there should have been Zubats literally everywhere. Could I have taken a taxi back from inside the cave? I really don't think I could have. And if I could have, I don't think I should have been able to. But I definitely feel like I should be able to take one from here. Alright, and where was she? Here? Was she in this one here? This feels right. Open. Hey, Professor, how's it going? Hey, Hero, how's it going gathering evidence? About the evidence. What? what uh, I want to check your progress, Hero? Let me see. And what you found so far. Data for the Iron Will Pokemon is at 100%. Data for the Cavern Pokemon is at 100%. Data for the Grassland Pokemon is at 100%. You've gathered 100% data uh, needed to track down the Iron Will Pokemon and the Cavern Pokemon and the Grassland Pokemon. Yeah, I, I guess I did. It should be enough data for us to pin down where these legendary Pokemon live. So if I feed all this data into my trusty uh, bat computer, searching for energy signatures, and it's found matching Pokemon. Wait, are they actually here? Are they actually still here? The Iron Mill Pokemon can be found at the Frigid Sea. The Cavern Pokemon can be found in Lakeside Cave. The Grassland Pokemon can be found in Yeah, so where I was finding the footprints. That makes sense. Uh, you'll finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon we've been searching for. Best of luck, hero. Thanks. Thanks, Sonya. You really are the best. Bye bye, ye Emperor. Bye bye. You good boy. Or girl. I don't know. Well, I don't know what gender her Emperor is. I don't, I don't really care either. Alright, let's get back out there. Actually, what am I doing? I can fly. Oh, hell, oh, holy shit, there it is. Okay, so it's just over this way from the from the old cemetery, if you guys were, were curious. I'm going to save real quick, even though I still have Master Balls left and just plan to throw a Master Ball at this thing. Hello, come here, Verizian. I like its cry. It's very cool. Legend versus legend, though there will not be any fighting today. Unfortunately, even that that would be really cool. How did Floofy get that damaged? I, I clearly haven't p been paying attention uh, to his health. All right, Master Ball, go. Need to trade for a few more of these. I'm getting a little low. We only have 12 left. Kaboom. And I could give it a nickname. These things are based off of Three Musketeers, so I could name it after the Three Musketeers if I cared, because here's the T. The Three Musketeers is a bad story. They're all terribly unlikable people, and I don't think it's written particularly well uh, either. Um, you, you, you can feel free to crucify me in the comments for that if you want. So no, no nickname. Uh, send to a, a box... All right, back in this cave, the the seaside one or whatever it's called. Kind of expecting Kobalion to be here, right? 
So I'm gonna check every nook and cranny because he could be anywhere. Not there. I kind of, I kind of have expected him to be there, honestly. Go, go away, Zubat. Okay, so I'm out the other side now, and I didn't see him anywhere. That is a, that is a Hatterene. Okay. Weird. Maybe he's out. It's very foggy right now, which is making this difficult. But there's that, there's that like long island out here. Maybe he's out on that. And there's no, just another Hatterene. Oh no, there he is, right there. Okay, cool. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Master Ball, go! Sparkle! And box. Alright. And, um, if any of them's gonna be in a cave, it's gonna be tracking, right? They aren't gonna put him where the other, where the legendary birds were. That'd be stupid. And there he is, right there. Okay. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Love his designs, very cool. Toss and click. Alright, cool. And I'm back, I got all three of them. How's it going? That Pokemon, isn't that the Iron Will Pokemon Cabalion? It is. I was right. I knew it. I knew my theory was right. Sorry, please don't mind me. I just got a bit too excited there. Yeah, I noticed. Here, you definitely deserve a reward for showing me such a fine legendary Pokemon. Ten experience candies. Small. Thanks. I definitely don't already have 999 of those, and therefore those just disappeared into the ether, but, but thanks. Now I'm certain that the other two must be here in the Crown Tundra, too. Actually, I, I have them, both, with me. Well, in my Pokedex, anyway, or in my PC, anyway. No way! That... Isn't it the Cavern Pokemon Terrakion? It is, in fact. Bang up job, hero! I knew you could do it! Uh, sugar, there I go again. But it's so hard to contain my excitement. No, I get it, man, trust me. I'm, ex I'm excited about this, too. Not as excited as I could be, but pretty excited. Here, take this. Yeah, thanks. I okay, good. That's great. That's... Also had max of those. Thanks. There's just one more legend. Yeah, I but I have it. It's right here. See? Look at it. That Pokemon, I knew it! That's the Grassland Pokemon Verizian. Not to be confused with Verizon Wireless. It's another nickname I could have given it. We did it! This is amazing! Who's the greatest professor in Galar now? You are, definitely. Not not that weird old lady that duct taped this rock to my wrist. I, I, don't tell my grand I said that, would you? No, nah, I, I won't. Trust me. But I couldn't be happier about what we've done here. I hope you'll take this little reward. Thanks. Uh, the large ones. Actually, I'm, I'm low on the large ones, so that's, that's actually pretty good. It's all thanks to you, Hero, that I was able to prove my theory was correct. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. You'd make a first-rate assistant for my work if you haven't, or if you weren't already the champion. You know, there's an old legend about Cabalian, Terrakian, and Verzian. It said that to protect their allies, they wage battle against humans bent on destruction. Interesting. Is that a legend from the region that they actually originate from? Never since then, they've kept themselves apart from humanity. But the fact remains that they agreed to become your Pokemon hero. I guess maybe they're willing to give humanity... No yeah, but this wouldn't be the original ones, would it? Like, like a lot of people in the Pokemon world, Sonya's treating these Pokemon like they're the original ones when they, they couldn't possibly be. Interesting. Yeah, she's going to write it all up and leave. Just peace off, I guess. All right. Come on, Yamper. You and me are heading home. See ya, Sonya. Are you just leaving Beldum? Bye, Yamper. I'm going to miss you. You're the best. That's super interesting. They just left Beldum. Can I take Can I take Beldum then? No. All right. Well, that's pretty interesting. But that that legend that Sonya talked about. Uh, I'm trying to look at the camera. There I go. That legend that Sonya talked about is super duper interesting. And unless she's suggesting that she thinks these are the original Verizian. Terrakian and Cabalion from that legend, from that Unova region legend, that they've just migrated here and I happened to catch them while they were migrating here, then that means that there are other... There's another Verizian, Cabalion, and Terrakian out there somewhere in the Pokemon world in the Unova region, and those would be the, th the three that the 
legend was written about. And you know, Hero, like he's not as bored now as he he has been recently, but back when he was, his mom was talking about how she was kind of wanting to travel more to a, to a region that she'd never even been to before, because she's been to most of the places the two of them have gone at this point. Because um, Galar was one of those regions, one of the regions she hadn't been to before, and she's loved being here. So, um... I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe it's time that Hero take her up on that offer. Head to, to another new region. The Univer region this time, the furthest that Hero has ever traveled from home. It would mean starting over. I mean, Hero doesn't even know if they support Rotom Pokédex is there. He might have to go back to using a regular Pokédex. And, and if he wants to do the Gym Challenge there, it would mean picking a new starter, waiting for the Gym Challenge to start up again there. But it might be worth it. It might be fun. In fact, it, it sounds like a lot of fun. Hero's gonna, Hero's gonna head home now. And, and talk to his mom about heading out as soon as possible. Hello, hello, guys. Um, welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Play. Now, in case you guys didn't notice, there's a bit of a really long... Go ahead and hit the button here. Um, get into the get into the character select and stuff. New game, of course. Um, you may have noticed there's a really long pro uh, prologue on this one. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Hi there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. The only one. As in, there are no other ones anywhere else in the world. I am THE Pokemon Professor. Take your time there, Prof. That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures. And they're called Pokemon. I bet you wouldn't have guessed. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. You know, we humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together, and we complement each other. We help each other out and to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Because they battle each other sometimes? No, you didn't really explain anything with that statement there. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Yep. And, um... I'm gonna play the boy character again, just for consistency's sake. And more or less. And as per usual, I'm gonna be playing as my enduring Pokemon OC. Okay, I gotta switch to lowercase here because it didn't do that automatically yet. A uh, hero. Uh, your name is Hero, yep. Uh, so your name is Hero. What a wonderful name. I think so. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. W wouldn't I know them? Wouldn't I know them already if they're my best friends? Yep, that's Charon. Yep. And that's Bianca. Yay, Bianca. Uh-huh. Hero, why would you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey? Uh, your story will truly begin. 
During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all these travels. And that's right, befriend new people in Pokemon, and grow as a person. And that is the most important goal of your journey. Uh, let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Yeah, pretty sure there's going to be a more important goal to my journey, though, eventually. But um, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Oh, this game tried so hard, man. Yeah, I like this game a lot, but that looked bad. That little zoom in, that looked real bad. Hero. I heard from Professor Ju... I heard from Prof Professor Juniper... Why do I have so much trouble saying Professor Juniper? It shouldn't be that hard. I heard from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon. And what's keeping Bianca? There she is. Am I a little late again? Sorry. Bianca. Now, I've known for ten years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know, sorry, Hero. Sorry, Charon. So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Hero's house, so Hero gets first pick. Naturally. Yeah, I guess that's them in the box there. It's kind of rude, putting Pokemon in a box. Pokemon belong in, in small balls, not, not boxes. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Hero, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. Alright. Sure. Um, real quick, though, before I do that, uh, you, you might have noticed there's a really long prelude on this video. Prologue. Pre-story. Pre however, whatever, whatever you would call it. It doesn't matter. That is because this is another installment in my very long and often convoluted and, and extremely headcanon-y story of Hero, a character who I headcanon as being the protagonist of practically all of the Pokemon games, starting with Generation 2 and, by extension, its remakes. For anyone who doesn't care about that, I'm probably just going to put a timestamp at the beginning of this video to skip the prelude. And you can, like, scrum past this part if you want to. This one's going to be interesting. First of all, I don't remember much about this game. I'm, I'm fairly certain I played through it twice. One one version, one on, on white version, one on black version. But I remember very little about the story of this game, aside from some specific character interactions and, like, the big climax so I'm gonna have to I, I get the I get the feeling I'm gonna have to uh, what's what's a what's a kinder term for bullshit rationalize I'm gonna have to rationalize through a lot of plot points because I set this story at the end of, of hero's journey at least for the time being um, since the protagonists in this game like they're obviously older than the protagonists of other Pokemon games. I don't know if that was ever actually confirmed, but just look at them. You can tell just from their sprites that they're intended to be older than the protagonists of other Pokemon games. And also because something about this game, even back when I played through it the first time, even though I knew there were going to be other games coming later, and that I was going to headcanon myself as hero in those two, like the, the, the same hero in those two, I always kind of figured that this one took place after all of them, and it really screws up some stuff with the timeline. You're going to have to squint really hard to not be super frustrated by that. I know that because I have to squint really hard not to be super frustrated by that. But we're doing it anyway. This takes place in the timeline of events for Hero after the events of Sword and Shield and X and Y and uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Is that everything? Is that everything that technically happened after this, that this takes place after. Yeah, I guess, kinda. Um, you also have to squint a little bit to make the time jump between this and Black and White 2 work with some stuff that's gonna happen later in Hero's Story, but that's, it's fine. Just just pretend like things happened in a different order than what the dialogue says. And you'll be fine. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't remember much about this game. It's gonna be really fun revisiting it, though. It's kinda like Pokemon Platinum. There are parts of that that I remembered super well back before I started replaying it. Uh, but for the most part, I just had the impression in my head that I really enjoyed the game. That's kind of how I feel here, though. 
I, I remember this one probably even less. All right, that's enough of that. Let's let's just let's get on with it. Open this box. Here, I open the gift box. I've brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon. All right. Like, um, for example, the things you're going to have to squint past. I'm fairly certain that the intention here was that, um, Hero, or the, whoever you headcanon the protagonist, whatever you headcanon their name to be, they're supposed to have known these people for something like a decade. Hero wouldn't, wouldn't know them for something like a decade. He would have just come here at most a few months ago, right? Um, so looking at these guys... Hero thinks he's going to go with the, the Grass-type Snivy. I also think he's going to go with the Grass-type Snivy, because as per usual, I am doing my best to recreate my team from my initial playthrough. And I went with the Grass-type Pokemon Snivy in my initial playthrough. I also apologize for all the small cuts in this intro. I've been trying to avoid them, but my dogs are being real weird, and I don't want... I don't mind a little bit of noise from my dogs in the videos, but I don't want as much... As they've been making. Um, Hero really enjoyed using a grass type in his his last gym challenge. Um, so he figures, why not just go for broke and go for another grass type? Uh, my reasoning is that I, d I don't like the way that... I mean, I don't mind Oshawott's final evolution, but I really don't like um, Tepig's at all. Um, so yeah, I went, I went this Pokemon. Should have saved before I did this, because I'm trying for the right genders, too, right? Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Jaren, this one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Tepig from the start, anyway. So, right off the bat, you know that Charon's going to be the quote-unquote serious rival, because he gets the one that's strong and is yours. Alright, cool. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. I mean, that is what you do with Pokemon. Honestly, Bianca, even though you're, even though they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. And don't be a worrywart. These little ones are weak, like you said. And we have to let them battle so they get stronger. It's settled. Here, we could just go outside. Y neither one of you is going to listen to me, though, are you? It's almost like I'm, s I'm a silent protagonist. It's weird. Yeah, sure, whatever. Hero's done this several times now at this point. The whole the whole Pokemon thing. He's he's noticed that when when people get their first Pokemon, they tend to want to battle right. I like how she's she's stumbling a little bit. That's adorable. I'm gonna give Bianca a lot of shit in this playthrough. But I do like her. I do think she's a she's a cute character. And um, as per usual, no elemental attacks yet, so I just get to get to run into this thing until it passes out. Or it'll run into me and die until I pass out. Eek, ouch! I won't let you get away with that. Um, I don't think you have a choice. And it's tackling me back. That's a little annoying. I don't like that. Please use Leer now. Or whatever it has. Growl? Tail Whip? There we go. Do that a couple more times. The game doesn't like to let the rival win, so um, I should be okay. There we go. I got a critical hit. There we go. That, was that the AI throwing me a bone? Who's to say? Yeah, the Pokemon on both sides did their best. Yeah, they did. Uh, mine just did their best better than yours. Alright. Yep, and that totally best up the room, which is a very cute detail that they don't utilize nearly enough in this game, from what I remember. Wow. Yeah, you're, you're going to be an awesome trainer someday. I'm, I already am. I mean, maybe Hero wouldn't have told them about that if he hasn't known them very long, but he's already he's already done this several times, right? Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Yeah, see, we could we could have just gone outside. Uh, whoa, what happened? The thing that he said was going to happen. Wow, Pokemon are amazing! Yeah, so a little bit so strong. I'm so glad uh, that I got to have a Pokemon. No, um, I'm sorry about your room. It's fine, I wasn't going to spend much time here anyway. Uh, you are completely hopeless. Here, I'll, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. Yep. You any mind to? Yep. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Hey, Charon. How about you battle too? 
Yeah, with all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area. Like, it's already a disaster area. You can't turn something into something it already is. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room uh, from getting any messier. Could it, could it get any messier, though? Honestly? And besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. See, he's not, he's not totally cold, right? He's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Now let's see what you can do, Tepig. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, Hero isn't saying much, but that's to be expected. He's pretty used to running into locals of similar age to himself and getting drug along on their crazy misadventures, at least until he strikes out on his own. It's just kind of par for the course at this point. Get it. It's good to know that I'm faster than both of these things. I finally become a trainer. Everything starts from here. No, no, there's a lot of things that started before here, and there are a lot of things that'll start after. It's just a silly thing to say. Good job, man. Good job, uh, wasting your turn. Get it. Seriously? You, you're trying to get me within, like, one hit kill range or something? It's, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna knock you out before that happens. There's a tackle. Okay. See? Well, that was about half the damage you need to do. You would've had to use that, like, like at least once, maybe two more times for me to, to get my defense low enough for that to work. And I level up. Do I get an elemental move at level six? Let's find out. Nope. Alright. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. Have you not seen a Pokemon battle before? Like, seeing one and being being involved in one aren't all that dissimilar. I made a strange blunder in my first Pokemon battle, but uh, this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I'd better come... Yeah, it is your fault. It is solely your fault. You should, you, you should have to apologize. I don't even feel like I have to do anything. All right, I'm going to go look at my Pokemon now. And it is a male, which is good, because this particular Snivy... A lot of a lot of heroes' starters are female, but... Um, the, which, in it, it's interesting, because I'm, I'm playing through Pokemon Platinum alongside this playthrough. I've, I've got speed up. I've got attack down, which sucks, but I've got speed up. That's pretty good. Um, I'm playing through uh, Platinum 2 for the channel right now, and that's also a grass-type starter. And... Also one of my rare male starters, uh, but but the Snivy is also one of Hero's rare male starters. Just just a little like there's no like story significance to that or anything, but just like um, a neat little coincidental detail. The sprites in this game look a little weird, look a little wonkier than I remembered. Hey mom, changed your look again. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean it up. I'm cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. She's she's not gonna do that. She she tends to say stuff like that and then never do it. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Uh, yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Uh, come on, let's go talk to Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait. I've got to go home first. Yeah, thanks for having us over. Yeah, bye. One of these days, I'm going to travel to a new region, and the locals are just going to ignore me, and I'm going to be so happy. My, my, hero. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? Yeah. Like, yeah, I would, I would imagine. We were literally just right upstairs. Hmm. That's your my, my first Pokemon battle. No, oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Pretty sure I could have found a Pokemon Center, but thanks. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. Thanks. I don't care about the cross transceiver at all. You're going to thank the professor too, right? You better get going, honey. Yeah, true. So, um, Hero came here recently to Unova, on part because he, he has, like, a little personal mission. He's, uh, he's, um, declared for himself, I guess would be the best way to put it. Um, he specifically is looking for the Swords of Justice. 
uh, so they can bring them back and show them to a friend of his in, in Gower, the last region that he was in. But he's also he was also really looking forward to because because Unova is supposed to be like the New York area in America, and obviously it's not a one to one thing, right? But I'm gonna I'm gonna say I don't know if this is really the term. This is like his first American Pokemon journey, right? So he's really looking forward to that. But the fact that the that that everyone was so excited to be offered Pokemon seems to suggest that. Trainers start their journeys a little differently here, so I'm going to say that um, when Hero got here, it turned out he wasn't even sure he was going to be able to go on a per Pokemon journey, but it seems that he and these new friends of his have caught the eye of the professor, which is a good thing. Let's head out. Coming up with this as I go along. Look at the, look at the Wubats. I like Wubat. I don't, I, I don't plan to use one, but I do like them. I can't run, which is annoying. Okay, so I fully admit this game does some really cool stuff with the software, right? Or the hardware, rather. The power of science is amazing. And now you can use infrared to do all sorts of things in the blink of an eye. Yep. Never change. Science is amazing, guy. Um, this game really pushed the hardware really far when it first came out. Like, these, this dynamic perspective and stuff looks cool. And I, I probably didn't feel this way when I first played through it, uh, however many years ago it would have been now, but I really have mixed feelings about these traditional-looking sprites on this, like, maybe not entirely three-dimensional, no, pretty much entirely three-dimensional background. It, it's it's going to take some getting used to again. What is this? Okay, right, you said you'd be outside the lab. Hey, man, how's it going? I'm sorry. But could you go to Bianca's house? I bet she's spacing out like she usually does. Yeah, she's totally flighty. Yeah, okay. This was my house, right? Yeah. Not my mom's house, my house. Okay, here we go. No, no! A thousand times no! But I'm... I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. You are a trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. Yes, that is true. I can totally go on an adventure. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? So I don't think I really picked up on this my first time through, but I guess in Unova, it's not like guaranteed that you're going to go on an adventure on a Pokemon journey, rather at a given age. Just like in general, that's not the expectation. Interesting. I'll, I'll see if I, can work, if I can work that into Hero's story somewhere. What nonsense is this? How can my daughter, who knows nothing about the world, be going on a journey with Pokemon? You need to get out more, man. I don't, I don't like you. Eh, don't mind my husband, dear. He's just being overprotective. All children go on adventures with Pokemon. It's part of growing up. I mean, not all. Like, pretty much everybody has a Pokemon, but not everybody goes on adventures with them. Let's, um... Should I talk to any of these other people? I don't know. Let's talk to some of these other people. Yeah, yes, I do. I think traveling with Pokemon changes people. Definitely changed Hero. But, like, like, Hero... At this point, I, I think the protagonists in this game are supposed to be like 15 or something, right? So Hero, let's say, would be around age 15. So he's been doing this for like five years. He was a very different person back when he first started journeying with Pokemon. He was more concerned with reading about Pokemon and reading about the world around him than he was exploring it himself. Hello, small child. I've heard there are a lot of Pokemon and many different people in the world. And when I hear stories about them, I get very excited. Yeah, so do I, man. All right, let's... Uh, Get in here. Okay. Let's go meet the professor. Have I not met the professor before? Or does it just mean, like, that in the in the sense that we're going to meet with her right now? Hi there. I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Professor Juniper. We know your name. Come, come, Charon. This is not a time to take things lightly. 
Today is a day to remember always, so it's best uh, to behave with some formality. Now that being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I'm researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon ca came into existence. I actually know the answer to that. And um, since Hero ne never shuts up about all of his past adventures, he's probably told her this before. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna headcanon that she gleefully ignores him because she um, prefers to to do her own research, or it contradicts her research. I don't know, because because canon canonically, Pokemon came into existence when when Arceus created the universe. Or even before that, because Arceus is a Pokemon. Like, this is baffling to me. Like, that that's a, that's a thing that people know already in this world. No, that's unusual. You already had a Pokemon battle. So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. And by the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Yes, I would. And since he's a little snaky boy, I'm going to call him... Slither, because snakes slither. Uh -huh, I see. Uh, are you okay with the nicknames? Yes, I am. I just, I just typed it out. Slither is its name. That is such a great name. I don't use two instances of the word name that close together. As for why I gave all of you Pokemon, it's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex. I am astonished. Nice work, Charon. You have already studied Pokemon. You have already studied Pokémon extensively, haven't you? And still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. And the Pokémon... The Pokédex, rather, God, is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokémon you encounter. So, I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokémon in the Unova region. Now, this is my request. Hero, Charon, Bianca. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokédex, will you not? Yeah, sure. Complete the Pokédex, sure. Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Yeah, thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokemon trainer, exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. Uh, you have given me the best possible answer. Thanks. Uh, next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Yeah, sure, why not? S since the Professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I could explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Yeah, I guess. Does the professor really have that kind of authority to, like, contradict her dad? Like, I don't think she should be listening to him. He's kind of a dick, but... It's still her dad, man. So I'm just gonna headcanon that this time around, Hero just didn't tell anybody about his past journeys. I know I just literally contradicted that a second ago, but it's way funnier this way. He comes to town, hears that the local professor is, learn is researching the origin of Pokemon, which he already knows about extensively. And so he thought it would just be really funny to say nothing and see what she comes up with. It's kind of a dick move, but I figure, I mean, Hero's done this so many times at this point, this whole Pokemon journey thing. He's gotta have something. He's gotta add something to it to spice it up, right? So that's that's the head cannon now. Probably gonna forget that I that I head cannon this. Remind me in the comments if I do. I don't know. I'm gonna end the episode here though, guys. This is fun. This is this is this is a fun game so far. I remember literally none of this except like the battle in in the main character's bedroom. Like this this room. I, I literally don't remember this at all from from when I played through this before. So this is gonna be a wild ride. Like at this point in my my platinum playthrough, even though I didn't remember much about that game either. I was starting to remember stuff. Stuff was coming back to me. Nothing's coming back to me this time. It's going to be great. In the meantime, though, this has been AJ22, and I'll talk to you guys later.